So I got a question from uh, from a viewer. Let me get my hind parts over here in this uh, right lane. Ooh, that tanker boy got pulled over. Ooh, we the police officer all in this in this truck. Good gracious. But I got a question from a uh, big kid. Big kid. Now this question was a long time ago. When you see this video, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm trying to catch up. Bro. I'm trying. But it was a good question. Um, he basically said, you know, watching my videos, you know, at Hanson and Atkins, clearly I'm not there anymore. But, you know, what's so hard about car hauling? You know, from the outside looking in, it just looked like uh, you just driving cars on the ramp. Hey, bro, I, it looks that way. And I wish it was just that easy. But it is not just that easy. <laughs> it is clearly not. But, you know, and again, when you were watching those videos, I was a lot, I was new in the game. So... You know, I had to learn, again, it's not, you know, if you could just drive the cars up there and just put them up there, then it, yeah, it's, it's, it's fairly easy. But bro, why are they, oh my God, why are y'all driving so slow? But um, if it was just driving cars up on the ramp and just put them up there and then going about your way, then yeah, that is easy. But you have to strategically put these cars on here so that the load that you're picking up will fit and you can take it to your destination. Now, mind you, I'm sure it looks like, uh, it looks like, okay, you just get cars, you just go to one dealership and you just deliver everything. No, that is not what it is. You have two and three, sometimes four different deliveries. Cause you gotta think about it. Some dealerships, they just need one car. One car, maybe somebody ordered it or, you know, they just ordered one car. And there's like three or four different dealerships within a hundred mile radius that you got to deliver to. So now you got to make sure that that load that you're picking up fits and you want to try to put them on there so that you go to each delivery in order and it's all you got to do is take them off. Because some places it's just, it doesn't work to where you can, um, you can put them on to fit right and for you to deliver in the order that you're trying to deliver. So say for the sake of argument, just to make it easy, I got a load picking up in Georgia and I'm delivering in Texas, Arizona, and California, right? And I have seven units. I got two trucks, two big old trucks. One of them is a dually. One is a 2500. And actually I got three trucks. Two of them is a dually. One is a 2500. Then I got three uh, Dodge Journeys, right? Maybe four, let's say four, four Dodge Journeys. So now, those two dually trucks, one of them is going to Arizona. One of them is going to uh, California. I think that's what I said. Okay. One Dodge Journey is going to California. Two Dodge Journey is going to Texas. So now, you gotta put it on there, put that load on there. Now mind you, that's, that's not a normal load. I'm just making it simple so you can grasp what I'm saying. Cause I could say just cities in a state, you know what I'm saying? But this is kind of just open it up a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I don't, it's not, I have never done a load like this, but I'm just, it's always in cities, but I'm just, you know, in states just to, to show you what I'm talking about. That's all. But I done forgot where everything going, okay? But that's where, if you just rewind the, the video back, that's where everything is going. So now you have to put everything on there a specific way. Now mind you, with that load I just said, there's only one way it's gonna fit. 
You got to put the two dualies on the top. You got to put uh, the 12500 down in the belly. Well, you don't have to. You can put it over over top of the cab. But you got to figure out what you're going to do. Because now, again, I, I, because I, I completely made this up. I don't know where everything's going. Now you got to understand, okay, if I put that 2500 over the head rack and it's going to uh, to Dallas or to Texas, I don't know where I said. Now, if that's my first stop, I got to unload the whole trailer to get that 2500 off. Or I could put it in the belly. But if I put it in the belly, I got those three and then the one in the in the, in the, the, the three Dodge Journeys on the trailer, I mean on the truck, and then the one Dodge Journey on the end at the bottom. Again, it's, this is, I'm messing my brain up by messing, by uh, creating this damn load. But you, what? I'm going, I'm going five miles. I'm going down the hill, so. But, uh, man, okay, so we got them three trucks, two dualies, 125 in the belly. And then I don't even know if I'm overweight. I don't even know if I'm overweight. But I know how I would load that. Because actually, you would have to put that 2500 on the head rack. And then you would have to make sure. Actually, y'all, you can't even do that load. There's no way you could do that load. See, and that, again, that's that's. So I have to drop a unit because you don't want to put anything at the end because you got that dually right there. Well, maybe you could put some at the end. If I put three, four, that's tough, bro. That's tough. Because more than likely those doolies are four doors. So anything, I mean, you would have to do a V, but they're going to be real close. Oh, you might could do that. You might could put that 2500 right there, V it, put the, um, put the Dodge Journey at the end, and V it. Man, bro, that's tough. But again, starting out because now me being who i am now or being six months in the game i wouldn't it wouldn't take me so long to figure that out because i just be like hey bro i can't take this one vehicle take that off and this is what it is you know what i'm saying so being new being new because you got to get through the new stage and right now it's not that it's not so difficult only difficult part about it is now we have 60. Okay, good. The hard, the, the most difficult part about it is uh, is just figuring out, learning how to st strategically put these units on this trailer. So one, that it fits, and two, that you can, because again, time is money. If I'm worried about taking off units and putting units back on, reloading, bro, that's time. We don't want to have to put up with that. So that right there is the hard part. And it, it sounds easy. Hey, bro, just put them on there. You can't do that. Well, you can, but again, it's just, it's going to be a long day. It's going to slow down your money. Because loading and unloading and unloading and loading, bro, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of physical labor that a lot of people don't want to put up with. Like the load I have now, Luckily, it fit. I got one Pathfinder on the head rack. I got a, a, a minivan, Sienna, on number two. I lowered the deck, got it uh, cocked up a little bit where the back is higher than the, um, than the front. Then I got a van, another Highlander, and then three Highlanders underneath on the trailer. Now, if uh, that's the best way to keep this under height, right? Now, if I was going somewhere where the first place I was going, I had to get the two vans off, then I would have to unload all three Highlanders. And then I got to unload the Highlander that's on number six, that's on the top of the trailer, all the way to the back, and then unload the vans, right? And then once I unload the vans, now I got to reload all four Highlanders. 
which is time and money. And, and I got to real. I don't want to do that. The way I got it set up now, the way I got it set up, I'm just going to slow down. We're going to slow down. The way I got it set up now is my first drop is a Highlander, just one Highlander. I got that all the way to the end on the bottom of the trailer. Boom. Get that off. My next stop is another Highlander, just one. Drop that off. Boom. My third stop is uh, is uh, two Highlanders and two minivans. I got that set up. Boom. Take those off. So I go to my fourth stop. All I got is the, the one Pathfinder on the uh, on the uh, head rack. Come on, man. Because, bro, it's 65 miles an hour. Why are we going 55? Come on, man. But, uh, I got the, the um, I go to the four stop and I just deliver it. Boom. That's simple. Now, if I couldn't have put it up there like that, again, that's the best way for me to load this these type of units to stay under height, to stay legal. But sometimes you can't do it like that, but you got to figure that out. And, you know, it's cold right now. So last night when I was uh, loading these units up, it was like 40 degrees. It was cold. Luckily, I know exactly how I was going to load this uh, this load up. It didn't take me. It only took me like an hour and some change. But at the beginning, when you're learning, it took me a long time. I'm, uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Call somebody, see what they do, what they would, what they would, what they, uh, what they would do. Bruh, it's 65, bro. What is you talking about? But um, these things don't be updating quick enough. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, that that is the hard part. What you're watching, what you were watching at the time that you made that comment, that was a guy that was only a month and a half into the game, and it was 90 to 100 degrees outside. Mind you, you got to walk to go get those vehicles. Because sometimes they don't have a shuttle. So you got to walk almost a mile or two a day just to go get the vehicles to put them on it. Mind you, that asphalt is hot, bro. And that shit does not give. So it's bad on your knees, bad on your hips, bad on your ankles. And it's 90 degrees. Feels like 100. And then the heat coming up from the asphalt is hot. So you can't win. From coming from being in a reefer trailer where all I had to do was back up into the dock, get a green light, close the doors, and I'm out. That's tough. Now, in Tanker, it's, you know, I don't actually know, but, hey, this is what you do, bam, bam, bam. You know, you may have to learn something at a different pump, but it ain't going to be that different. On here, the cars are different every time. The units. I may have four trucks six trucks figuring out how to keep them under height and i could be making it man again at the beginning it sounds like us oh my god so much but now it's a lot easier because i kind of i can see how i'm going to load stuff once i see what the units are you know what i'm saying now look look at this mug now he going fast he was just going 55. anyway but yeah that's that's to answer your question man uh that's the hard part. Again, I'm so sorry. This you probably not, you probably didn't unsubscribe since you didn't put that question up. But I just can't. I, everybody thinks I'm at Hanson and Atkins at this moment right now that I'm making this video. So we gotta keep them. You know what I'm saying? So I may once I put out the videos that I'm at this company, I may upload this earlier. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's the hard part to me, man. That's just what it is. Uh, it's not it's not as hard as I'm making it now because I am uh, better I have more knowledge I have uh, more experience there we go Woo! more experience with it now so you know it's not as bad as as I as I make it now so but as you can see the speed limit is 65 I have the cruise set at 65 we are going down the hill so I'm going 66 I got the Jake going on to slow me up. We're back to 65. So we're good, man. Um, that's what it was. I'm rambling. Let me get out of here. Uh, 
Life is simple. I haven't said this in a long time. Life is simple. Choose to be happy. And if you ain't about that life, you better get out of that truck. Peterville gang.